first alert weather with Cassie Campbell is sponsored by St. Francis Healthcare System. After a beautiful weekend, today's been a little bit different. We've had quite a bit of cloud coverage. It's still been fairly nice temperature wise, and we have seen a little bit of some rain moving across the heartland. For now, seeing the heaviest amounts of rain over parts of southern Illinois and just moving to the north of the heartland. These showers are going to continue to move to the north northeast, but we are tracking the chance for some more storms to develop later this afternoon into tonight. Zooming in to see the heaviest amounts of rain in southern Illinois. If you're headed out and about and you're anywhere from Mount Vernon down to Benton and into the Marion area, I might want to go ahead and just grab a rain jacket, maybe an umbrella. Going to see those scattered showers for a little bit longer. I do want to zoom out and head over to the west for just a second. Some pop-up thunderstorm activity is creating a little bit of some thunderstorm activity. You can see a couple severe thunderstorm warnings to the west of us. And there is a chance that we do see some strong storms, mainly to our most western counties for this evening. You can see future cast kicking us off around 8 o'clock tonight. The winds are really surging out of the southwest, but a few of these isolated cells could produce some strong wind gusts, maybe even a little bit of some hail. So that's what the warnings would be for. Not everyone is going to be put under severe thunderstorm warning. Our severe threat is very low for tonight, but just want to give you the first alert. You could get caught under a strong storm for the evening. I have this paused at 2 a.m. kind of in the middle of the night here. If you're waking up and you're hearing some loud thunder and lightning, don't want you to be alarmed. We are tracking the chance for some overnight storms that are going to be pretty loud and produce some heavy rainfall. That's going to continue to move to the northeast heading out tomorrow morning by around 730. Still seeing quite a bit of some heavy rain over parts of southern Illinois. As we get into Tuesday afternoon, tracking another round of some sporadic scatter showers and thunderstorm activity. That's going to continue all throughout the day. That pop up thunderstorms throughout Tuesday afternoon and Tuesday night. Good news, by the time we get to Wednesday, winds will shift, they're gonna start coming out of the north, and we are gonna slowly start to see some, sun, some sunshine by Wednesday afternoon. As I was saying, there is a slight risk for the strong to severe storms, mainly in parts of southeast Missouri. We're at a level one out of five today for that chance for some strong storms to occur throughout the evening. That threat for strong to the, the thunderstorm activity is possible throughout tomorrow. We'll dry out for most of the day on Wednesday, and then another round of activity works in for Thursday and Friday. But good news so far, your weekend is looking a little bit more on the drier side. Live look outside at Southeast Missouri State University. You can see the clouds lingering overhead. It's been a little bit of a breezy day. We're sitting at 68 in Kennett with the breeze out of the south southeast around 10 miles per hour, and that feels like temperature right around that same mark. Mid 60s tomorrow, gradually increasing to the mid 70s. Go ahead and grab the rain gear. You could get caught under a few pop up showers throughout the day. We'll return to the sunshine by Wednesday, mid 70s tomorrow and Wednesday before we track that warm up rolling in by Thursday. And then we're going to sit in the 80s for a couple of days with those scattered showers and thunderstorms Thursday and Friday. But this is looking pretty nice. Lots of sunshine, mid 80s for your weekend, and then another round of some scattered showers are possible at Sunday.